Hey guys, welcome back to the Watches and Giggles channel. This is Chris from Chicago. And today I wanted to give you guys a look at the Rolex 50th anniversary sea dweller out in its natural habitat outside. Well, I guess not natural habitat, it's not in the water, but outside in the natural light. Uh, get out of the dark dungeon of my house or my brother-in-law's house. And you can see it just snowed here in Michigan. Um, a little bit of snow on the grass here. And I wanted to talk about the wearability of this 50th anniversary Sea Dweller. If you've seen one of my last silly videos, it was my brother-in-law trying it on. And I wanted to talk uh, a little more about that. So I have a wrist of about 7.75 inches. So for me, uh, this watch fits me beautifully. And if you're a smaller wrist guy, I would say anything six, six and a half, it may be a little too big for you, but you could probably still pull it off. Uh, again, if you're a guy that wears a suit every day to work, no, this is not going to be the watch for you if you want it everyday wear. But uh, for weekend wear, for on holidays, I think this watch is just perfect and it's great. You can use it to go swimming. You can dive with it. I mean, you don't really have to worry about it. It's robust. I re uh, recently went on holiday over in Mexico, and I was playing volleyball with it in the pool. I mean, nothing happened to it. It it worked beautifully, and I was timing the games on it. So you can use the bezel to time things, which is great. But I just kind of wanted to talk about that. And if you were on the fence with this watch, and you have a seven seven and a half inch wrist. Oh, go for it. I, I think you're going to love it. Uh, but it is a watch uh, that if you need to wear something with a cuff every day for work, it's not going to be your guy because it's not going to fit under under that cuff. Uh, but if you're a guy that doesn't need to wear a suit to work every day, oh, man, and, and you're, you're a little bit of a bigger guy like myself, bigger bigger wrist, I, I say go for it if you're on the fence. I, I think it's beautiful. And that red writing right there, if I could zoom in a little bit, that Sea Dweller red writing, uh, I think Rolex will discontinue it at some point. And it's going to make this watch very collectible. Uh, obviously, it's speculation, but Rolex always doesn't keep anniversary editions going around uh, forever with the little little touches, right? And that's what we look for as Rolex owners. We want something that's going to stand out from the crowd. And I think this watch down the road is definitely going to stand out. I'm trying to get the dial here. There's no sun out, so it's just a natural cloudy day here in Michigan uh, with the beautiful snow in the background. Thought I'd give you guys, uh, especially some of you that never seen snow, a little glimpse of that with the Rolex. Kind of cool there. Something that doesn't happen every day. So yeah, guys, just a quick video of the Rolex Sea Dweller out in some natural light, getting out of the dungeon uh, of my house or my brother-in-law's house. And that's about it. Guys, if you want to support this channel, all you have to do is click a like, leave a comment, or hit the sub button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great Monday. Take care.